Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you the difference between VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH. Because they are both used to pull data from one table to another. And they both do this by establishing a common link or a common value in both data tables. And then using that column, that common link to pull the value across that you want. However, they're both constructed in a different way. And this gives them both a good reason to to use it and a bad reason. So let's get started. What I've done is I've created a data table with occupation, first name, last name, age and height. And I've got five values in one data table. And then below that I've got first name, large name and age where the age I've done a V lookup to get from this other data table above. And I've selected John, I've got the first name as the common link and I've used that to pull the age. And then on the right, I've got the same thing, first name, last name, age, but I've used an index match to um, compare the first names and then use that to pull the age. So VLOOKUP and index match have both used John the, as the common link to pull the age. And notice that the VLOOKUP, I've had to select more data and more columns to in order to um, pull the age across, I could just do that. But I've had to also include the last name. And if I wanted to then save memory, I'd have to move the age column across here and have the first name, age and last name, which doesn't doesn't seem to flow right in a data table. Whereas with the index match, I can keep the age where it is and I can just skip the last name column and just have first name and age. So index match, in many, many cases, will use less memory than the VLOOKUP. And you'd, in order to have the VLOOKUP using the same memory as the index match, you'd have to like move the age across so that just, you're just selecting two columns. Whereas with the index match, you don't have to do that. You can just keep the age where it is and don't have to reshuffle the data table and it will use less memory. Also, another reason why to use the index match is that it is more functional than the VLOOKUP. So what I mean by this is, let's change this age to occupation. If I now want to do then change this to read the occupation for each of these people, I just have to move this age column across and then press enter and then drag it down. Whereas if I did the same with the VLOOKUP, it wouldn't work. I couldn't just drag the age across to the left and I couldn't just drag this data table left one because the common link John has to be on the far left of the data array selection. And then you'd get an error like this, like hashtag NA if you did that. And you can't also then say that, oh, because the first name is column one, then let's change that to column zero because then you'd also get another error. So the VLOOKUP is less functional and less dynamic than the index match. So those are the pros for the index match. But the reason why you'd want to probably use the VLOOKUP is that more people are aware of how to construct and they can read the VLOOKUP more easily than the index match. So this is the main reason to use a VLOOKUP is because more people know it. Also, the VLOOKUP is quicker to write, whereas with the index match, you have to do index, then call the column you want to return, and then do the match. Whereas with the VLOOKUP, it's just one single function with four parts to it. And also, the VLOOKUP is easier to audit and easier to understand than the index match. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. It's just a short one explaining to you the difference between VLOOKUP and index match. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there'll be more Excel tutorials coming your way. I also have more Python tutorials, so don't forget to check them out. And thank you very much for watching.